Hi, this is Laura Coleman, staff writer with the Beverly Hills Courier, and I'm here standing in front of Fleming's, the new Beverly Hills restaurant, and the scene of the Beverly Hills Education Foundation's kickoff event for its fundraising campaign to raise over $1 million for Beverly Hills schools for this year. Okay, we are here right now with Annette Sella, president of the BHEF, and her husband, Mark. Hello. Hello. Um, and if you could tell us um, about this experience of creating this wonderful fundraiser for tonight and how much you expect to yield for the schools. Well, um, it's, it's actually very exciting that a new business like Fleming's Steakhouse and Wine Bar uh, came to us and offered to host this to benefit all the public schools in Beverly Hills. We're expecting to raise $35,000 in one night with the help of uh, the Frank Family Vineyards and the Beverly Hills Courier. Um, so we're crossing our fingers. Uh, we, are, we were almost sold out actually and uh, with the help of the uh, silent auction we're hoping to raise that amount. That's very wonderful. And, and one of the nice things um, in the community is that uh, people who do write the checks can write them straight to the BHEF. That's so right. all the money does go directly to the schools. Indeed. So it's a very nice evening. Right. Anything Thank you'd you. like to add? Oh, no, it's just a wonderful event, and we're glad that the city and uh, so many people came out to support it. Well, first I want to thank the uh, Beverly Hills Courier for being the media sponsor for tonight's event. Without their really uh, advertising and promoting this event, I don't think it would have been as uh, great a success as it has been. I also want to commend the Beverly Hills Education Foundation. This is a wonderful event and certainly it, we would need to see more of these partnerships between our local businesses here in Beverly Hills and the Education Foundation to raise money to support our... And we're standing here with Cliff and Candace Smith. Cliff is the publisher of the Beverly Hills Courier, and this is his lovely wife, Candace. If you can tell us about the sponsorship related to this event, that sure. would be lovely. Absolutely. We're very happy to sponsor with Fleming's this great event for the Beverly Hills Education Foundation. Fleming's is our newest major restaurant in Beverly Hills, and they've been extremely generous in hosting tonight's event. All the proceeds from tonight's event will go to the BHEF to help support our public schools. And the couriers provided publicity. The, uh, we'll be running feature articles on this afterwards, and we're thrilled to be the major media sponsor for this event. And we are the major sponsor of the BHEF along with um, the uh, new Fletcher Jones Audi in Beverly Hills. And we look forward to a wonderful night tonight, especially with the Frank Family Vineyard Wines that are also part of tonight's event. So thank you, Laura. Thank and you. we, I'm sure we'll have a great evening. The Courier has always understood the importance of the public schools in Beverly Hills. I mean, there's never been, been a question. And Fleming's, as a new partner, I think they look at other, other businesses in the company, like Audi, who came in and made a significant donation. And for Fleming's, they now become an education partner. And we want to make it meaningful that businesses in Beverly Hills realize being an education partner, showing that you care about our public schools, means we're going to come eat your steak. We're going to come drink your wine. For us this year, the 2013 campaign is a brand new campaign. We've never done anything like this. Two years ago, we ran an emergency campaign called the One Campaign. We raised $800,000 in two weeks, $600,000 in one week. And it was to, to fill a hole, to put a Band-Aid on. The new normal, the new reality in Beverly Hills is that we need to do better. The state of California is not going to be giving us the money that they're used to giving us. We, we're just not going to see those funds anymore and we have to take care of ourselves. And the best way for us to take care of ourselves is to raise the money internally. Tonight is a kickoff to this campaign in which we're gonna ask every family to donate $1,000 per student every year. So that at the end of your years, from kindergarten through 12th grade, you'll have given $13,000 to educate your kid at this amazing education that in a private school would cost you 30,000 times 13 years. And tonight's event is to get community involved, to get business involved, to get the mayor and the board of education and city council people involved to get behind this. And as always, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really humbled by our partners. I'm humbled by the people who choose to stand up and say they care about our schools. I'm humbled when a restaurant says we understand schools. I'm humbled when people like Cliff and the Courier say, no matter what happens, our kids are the most important resource. So. Um, it's always humbling, and, uh, and it makes me hungry for steak. 
<laughs> well, you'll certainly be having that. And just as a follow-up before you go in, on Tuesday night at the Board of Education meeting, um, you had told the board that the expectation would be this new normal of about $4.6 million annually that the foundation would help to raise. Um, we, we, um, we don't have any more room to look around and look for someone to help us. And if we help ourselves, if we truly are as good as we say we are as a community, then at $1,000 per student in the district, that's about $4.2 million. The city this year is giving us a matching fund for the first $600,000 that we earn. The city council is giving $600,000 back. So that 4.1, 4.2 becomes 4.8. But every year, 4.2. And if we do that, if the city of Beverly Hills, its residents, can raise $4 million every year, then we'll be bringing foreign language back to the middle schools. We'll be having smaller class sizes. We'll be in more enrichment classes, more athletic teams, better middle schools, the STEM academies, everything everyone dreams of. And I often say to people, wouldn't it be great if money didn't solve all the problems? Well, it doesn't solve all the problems, but it solves most of them. Education is in a total crisis and meltdown now. And if this community can't support the schools where our children go, then who will? And as a result, I feel very strongly about this event. And therefore, I was thrilled to be able to buy the tickets and also invite other people to join us to do the same. Wonderful. And Jim, any thoughts? Yes, I, I do have some thoughts. Uh, just last year, I, we had our 50th anniversary of graduation from Beverly Hills High School, class of 1962. And I took a tour with the superintendent, with a bunch of my classmates. And we were appalled by the condition of uh, the traditional building. Now, the new buildings are nice, but so much work has to be done at the school. There's no money to do it. And I heard of horror stories about deficits and the need for money any way we can get it. The state's not going to give it to us unless the citizens of Beverly Hills are prepared to dig into their pockets and, and, and help. We're going to suffer. And, and what's, what's more important than the education of our kids? Nothing. Well, I'm really hopeful that this is the beginning uh, of a terrific year of fundraising and uh, we obviously have a lot of work ahead of us this year and I'm, I'm really looking forward to everybody joining in. It's, uh, it's critical that we support our schools. And Linda, you must be very We are standing here tonight with Superintendent Gary Woods, who has been shepherding the schools through this difficult time with a budget deficit. Please, Gary, Superintendent Woods. Tell us how such a wonderful event can help engender philanthropy in the community. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank The Courier for helping support this event. Um, anytime you're dealing with a crisis like we're dealing with, it takes an entire community to, to solve the problem. And events like this and others that we have planned are really critical. And, and the, the important thing to remember is it's impacting students. So everything we're doing here tonight impacts our 4,800 kids that we have to educate each and every day. Well, schools are extremely important for our communities in many ways. In a way, the schools are kind of the glue that holds our community together. And uh, the schools are, in fact, reasons that many people move into our city. Um, and that goes back generations. Uh, you know, you hear stories of people who, you know, whose grandparents moved into uh, the city for our schools. So it's extremely important that we provide an example as to how public education can work. Uh, I think that you know, we, we have all of the um, wherewithal to support our schools. The city should continue to do so because having first-rate public schools are uh, one of the very key elements of success to the city. We're standing here with Ty Wynn, partner with Flemings. And Ty, if you could tell us why you came to be involved in this wonderful evening. Oh. Thank, thank you, Laura. Um, we're, uh, whenever we came up to Beverly Hills, Chef Brennan and I um, had an opportunity to meet a lot of the, uh, the folks in the community. And time and time again, everybody always mentioned the Beverly Hills Education Foundation, Beverly Hills Education Foundation. And then uh, whenever we had a chance to meet with Annette, as well as Matt, who uh, Annette's the president, and Matt, I believe, was their CEO, loved them. I mean, like it was the natural connection. Uh, we got along with them so well that when Brandon and I left the meeting, we looked at each other and there actually wasn't even really a decision. We both looked at each other and said, Beverly Hills Education Foundation is like, done. And we are here right now with Brian Rosenstein. Brian is vice chair of the planning commission and running for city council, as well as are you fourth generation now? Fourth generation Beverly Hills resident, yes. Sir. So you really do understand firsthand how important um, public schools Absolutely. are. Absolutely. I attended Hawthorne School and uh, proudly 
and I think the schools are the backbone of this community and I'm proud to be here to uh, support BHEF and our schools. And how important is fundraising to the success of the schools? Well, it's hugely important right now. I mean, especially with everything going on in the state with our funding, it's vital that this community steps up and tries to, to uh, support BHEF and give our money, anything they can, uh, to support our schools. Well, it's absolutely critical because education is in a total crisis and meltdown now. And if this community can't support the schools where our children go, then who will? And as a result, I feel very strongly about this event. And therefore, I was thrilled to be able to buy the tickets and also invite other people to join us to do the same. Wonderful. And Jim, any thoughts? Yes, I, I do have some thoughts. Uh, just last year, I, we had our 50th anniversary of graduation from Beverly Hills High School, class of 1962. And I took a tour with the superintendent, with a bunch of my classmates. And we were appalled by the condition of uh, the traditional building. Now, the new buildings are nice, but so much work has to be done at the school. There's no money to do it. And I heard of horror stories about deficits and the need for money any way we can get it. The state's not going to give it to us unless the citizens of Beverly Hills are prepared to dig into their pockets and, and, and help. We're going to suffer. And, and what's, what's more important than the education of our kids? Nothing. And, you know, so as far as I'm concerned, you know, everyone needs to kick in. And, and support this wonderful institution. We have a unique opportunity to, uh, to maintain. So right now, Beverly Hills Courier is standing here with City Councilwoman Lily Bossy and her husband, John. Yes. Lily, if you could speak for a moment or two about the importance of our students and of course the fundraising efforts connected to making sure that they have a bright future. Absolutely, well, you know, the schools are our foundation to our city and I went to Beverly, so many of us went to Beverly or their kids went to Beverly and we just have a such a small town kind of feeling and there's nothing more important than our schools, our police and our fire and tonight what's happening here is an example of the best of our city which is fabulous businesses working to support our schools, of course the courier doing this incredible sponsorship for us. You know, it is the best of the best and my favorite part of our city is our schools. So I thank the Courier and I thank Flemings for this incredible evening and hopefully other businesses in our community will do the same sort of thing and support us and we in turn will support them as well. So this is an example of the best of the best of Beverly Hills for sure. And one of an additional highlight of today is, of course, your one hundred thousand um, dollar donation. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Oh, absolutely. Um, maybe if you would want to share um, how you you feel that that could help lead um, our community and engender greater philanthropy along those lines. <laughs> I think Lily and I have always believed in you know supporting so many things in Beverly Hills, and it starts with the schools. And I don't think you can ask. You can't ask the city to make sacrifices or to give if you're not willing to give personally and show leadership. And so hopefully it inspires other people to do it. But uh, I think that Lily's always, you, you lead by leading, not lead by waiting to see what happens. So we thought this would be a great way to kind of start efforts and, and set an example. And hopefully it inspires other people to come forward. And I'm excited. I'm hoping that this is just the beginning. And this is something that every year that this community will just keep on giving and giving and showing support, but we're honored to be leaders in this. This has been a wonderful evening with the Beverly Hills Courier and Fleming Steakhouse and the Beverly Hills Education Foundation and the community of Beverly Hills as we kick off BHEF's fundraiser to raise over a million dollars for Beverly Hills schools. <laughs>